another video man appreciate y'all taking the time to tap back in plan for today we're on the way to Joel's because we're gonna give him a hand installing some new modifications on his 2024 Mustang GT which we haven't really dived into those yet and I'm kind of curious to see if it's pretty similar to the gen 3 when it comes to like taking stuff apart pretty positive we're installing a bottom lip a lower grill an upper grill and some fog light replacements so the front end will come off completely today before we pull up to Joel's house though I need my like squad I need the DVP squad all the true OGs to lock in right now and smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already you guys have been absolutely crushing it for me and it's just inspiring me to go even harder this year on youtube so let's keep that momentum going i'm gonna keep these longer vlogs going because i certainly enjoy them and i think you guys do as well so if y'all would do me that favor that'd mean a ton got mr mr ames here at the boss 302 side note if you didn't watch the last video which i highly recommend a lot of good valuable information in there but jordan will be taking the boss 302 to ponies in the smokies march 18th i'll be going as well with the mach 1 jake with the dark horse it's going to be a ball time and we're going for the full week so if you're going to pits come find us come hop in the vlogs we'll be daily vlogging what's good fellas i stated incorrect joel is going to be doing the top grill the bottom grill and then they have these like two side vents here and you got all our stuff right so i didn't even know just the gts came with that i thought it was just like a dark horse thing but no your performance pack gt has the brake cooling ducts to hit these big old brembos right there so that's pretty sick that they did that well i think it's just performance pack though what are you doing bro i'm glad i just put pants on for you let's go around. man i need you to lock in where are you going it's 2 p.m we're gonna watch joel vlog through my vlog i'm gonna vlog of you vlogging 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 okay yeah. i don't care you guys are gonna get a behind the scenes of a vlog of a vlog. <laughs> vlog of a vlog. And then maybe Brandon will show up and then you get yeah, he's a away. third of a vlog. He's a, <laughs> yeah, he's away. I told him, look, because he's always whining. I got no content. I need to co do compound with it. We're downstairs. Dare's coming over. I didn't know Jordan was going over. And then I was like, <laughs> we're doing that I said, there's some content for it. And a hood truck. The installation. No, leave my hood <laughs> They are factory spec. They just ripped off the front bumper. Looks kind of cool. I think you should rock a bumper delete. Rock the bumper delete for a bit. Sure. You should have some cooling. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Those I8Ts are going to be like 180. Oh, baby. What are we doing that here? That one is mine. What are we doing here? This one's calling mine. And they're still warm. I love fitness, healthy food. 400 grams of protein. Welcome to Joel's cooking channel. <laughs> Give yourself a little bagel there, boy. I'm sure it's the healthier out. Cream cheese and bread ain't that healthy. You'll see this on Joel's vlog, but it's really cool because Ford finally went to the drawing board and they made their whole clip in, clip out system with the grills much better. Jordan's working on this side vent here. Fillers. All the grills are removed. Bang, bang, bang. Always keep it wrapped. Keep you out of trouble. Always keep it having one of me. This is the one. This is the factory one. As you can see the difference, they used a little hex blocks where these are rounded. There's not too much of a difference in it. They have an actual like cosmetic like trim around. Right. It. So the ovals do look good though. It doesn't look cheap factory. Right. You yeah. know, it does look good. They're also all flat as opposed to some so being raised, raised and, and raised. And low. Yeah. Well, we just wrapped up the project for today on old uh, Wasp. How do you think the install went? I think it's definitely a two-person job. 100%. You know, if you got a lift, it probably would have been easier because you could have reached a little better. But yeah, for the most part, I'm glad I had people to come help me. <laughs> for the wind guy it's kind of crazy out here right now but wasp, look, wasp looks look good Fuck, i can't even say that what am i saying i absolutely love the the yellow on these things did it feel faster it felt a lot faster yeah i got a lot more <laughs> air in there felt it lifted up though now i get more down okay okay mission success yes the car looks good everything worked tail light uh yeah. warranty 
What's your the, the you plug go? and play thing yeah. is my favorite with like doing stuff like that. Makes life so much easier. You ready for the trip? Yeah. I'm stoked, bro. You're going down on E though. Just gonna slap it up with a bunch of jugs. Yeah, I know for a fact I can fit four in the back seat. Uh, I could probably fit more, but you know what you should do though. I know you mapped out like the whole E stations on the way. You should just give them a ring. Like, hey, out of curiosity, do you guys carry flex fuel? Oh yeah, remote start. Better not be in first gear again. <laughs> Successful little mission here at Joel's. We got the stuff installed on his car. I'll tell you what though, I cannot wait until we get the lift put in the garage because I'll just be like, yo, come over, bring the car, slap it on the lift. Make life a lot easier. But we are going to roll, get home and uh, knock out some stuff and I don't know. We're currently picking this up like Hell, a week later, I got the boys here behind me because we have to do some maintenance on Maverick here. We are going to Ponies and the Smokies in just two days. I'm pretty stoked on it. But Maverick here actually needs more work than I thought. I checked underneath the car just for the hell of it for some reason, and I noticed I was missing a header bolt that connects to the connecting pipes. So not like where it connects to the motor, but where it connects to the connecting pipe. So we have to get a bolt thrown in there. We're gonna do an oil change. I have to do a new exhaust harness, which I got screwed on by the way. I paid $85 for a harness. Jake is actually on his way. He's gonna be extremely late, which he is already late, but he's gonna have to meet us somewhere. To the shop we go, we'll start getting this work done. And we are gonna have some fun, boys. <laughs> I'm so excited for this Ponies in the Smokies trip because we just checked out our cabin again after we booked it like four months ago. We don't have to worry about extreme heat like Mustang Week. It's in a new location I've never been to and it's very close to Tale of the Dragon, which we are doing this time around. It's on a smaller scale with people, which is kind of unfortunate. If we could have gotten like a huge, huge cabin and got more people in, that would have been pretty fun. But nonetheless, it's gonna be a great time. is pumping right now. I almost got hit by a car and I don't know if I curbed all my wheels on the right side to avoid them. Fucking people. Did you see that? Dude, I don't know if I curbed my shit. I have no idea. I have no idea. Are my, are my wheels curbed? No, you didn't hit the curb. Dude, I tell me that wasn't close. No, it was close. Bro, he almost took out my whole fucking driver's side. Oh, I know. He started, he started his signal, and he started going, I was like, whoa, what is he doing? Bro, right? I just, I was sitting here just watching where we were going. All of a sudden, I have this guy on me, dude. Yeah. Like, I could have touched his car. Get in my lane when I was turning. And then he looks at me like, like, all I know is I fucking, I cut hard. This car, man, oh, it's, it's people, really. It's people. That, that was a close, close call. That almost ruined everything. We would have been taking Belucifer to Ponies in the Smokies. I honked, but it was it was late. Like dude, a late honk. I thought for sure I curbed something. I, it, it had to have been within a foot, dude. Oh, less than that. You Bro. were like six inches away from that curb. Dude, I swung it so hard. I think we're good, though. That happened to me one time when we were in a <sighs> Mini Cooper, That dude. was close, bro. I was like this close to the curb and homie was still coming to my lane i was like bro if i didn't <laughs> just look to my left i was getting completely sideswiped oh yeah fully well we made it to the shop and check this place out damn this is nice this is your little section right here yeah. hell yeah bro all lined up um yeah keep coming all right, so plans are oil change, fix the exhaust, snag the harness on there, and I think we're gonna tweak my steering wheel because it has a slight bend to the left. I think we're gonna tackle all the exhaust stuff first. I'll show you what I'm talking about with the missing bolt and the harness. Keep in mind, guys, when you do the X-pipe and the H-pipes on these cars, if the exhaust gets pushed back just a hair, like half an inch to an inch, the harness tends to rub on the body of the car, which causes an electronic issue, which I'm having right now. That's why I bought a new harness. We're gonna address that because sometimes it won't let me switch my modes. It won't let me like open it to track. It just stays in normal. So with the new harness and we're gonna notch out that little area where it rubs, hopefully that takes care of that issue. And then if you're underneath the car, you could see we sloshed a bolt. And I don't know exactly how that happened or why that happened, but we're gonna have to get a bolt for that. You can see that heat wrap, that's the old harness. And if you look up top here, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that guys, but 
I'll try. There's a little bit of red tape. I put the red tape there just to avoid the contact with the body and the harness so it would stop tweaking out. We're gonna have to just modify that body part right there to bend it back so it stops touching the harness when we put the new one in. Dakota has the old harness pulled here. I had to do a makeshift job on it just to keep it working for a little bit, but you can see that thing is just, um, it is torn up. There's some wire exposed and stuff in there. The frame right here, wants to rub, it'll cut into the wires. So all we did was just take an air hammer to it and just fold it up. A better representation, you see this body line right here? This like, oh, I don't even know, it's almost like a pinch weld. This was digging into the harness and eventually sliced it. So we just essentially bent that upwards to clear it. So that's all that happened underneath there. Super common, so if you install an H and an X, have the exhaust guy doing it or yourself be weary of that because this is an issue and it's annoying as hell. We got the harness put in, we drained the oil, thrown in some new oil, had to do some stuff with the exhaust so the car might be a little louder. I don't know. There was something weird with like my exhaust was unplugged. We plugged it back in, we did the firmware update, should be good now and when we fire it up you'll see firsthand but the firmware update was successful. It's weird. You have to go to like myfirmware.ford.com and it's all on there. We got this numb nut that just showed up. Did y'all ever do the firmware update on yours? I did do the update. I you did. did? Yeah, I went to your link at For, slash yeah, DBP shop. Yeah, so I get a commission. Yeah. Did you do the firmware on yeah. the exhaust? Yeah, mine's updated. Cool, cool. All right, well let's slap, the, slap some oil in this girl and Get her rocking and rolling. We just threw uh, nine and a half quarts of oil in. We're gonna start her up, let her warm up for a bit, check the levels. Let her rip, tater chip. That update is sick. They get the firmware update, you install it into the exhaust harness, and then after the harness is done splicing and cutting, cutting and splicing, it'll work. Get bitch! Man, I don't trust you. You're gonna be my dad hit the horn. Everything on the car is finally complete. The alignment's right on the money. Oil change is done. Exhaust firmware update is finished. New exhaust harness is installed and working properly. I'm really excited about that so I don't have those issues anymore. Maverick is now just one wash away. Good little interior detail. Load her up. Ponies in the Smokies, here we come. So I'm stoked on that. How was your drive, fool? It was good. Yeah? How's the dark horse treating you? So far, so you got good. long tubes on there now? Uh, yeah, something like that. I went to DVD, uh, dvp.shop. <laughs> yeah. Get the firmware update? Yeah, I got the update. <laughs> she looking good? He's still loving it? Yeah, it's honestly my favorite car out of the three. No, it's no. not. You no. were talking about selling it. You're lying. I'd sell the GT500 before this. Actually? Yeah, I swear to God. This thing looks good, bro. They got also got a ported manifold on this thing, so when you're able to tune these on E85, this car... Mark my words, it's gonna be a little mule, no doubt. He's obviously bringing this to Ponies in the Smokies, which means we can finally have our Tale of the Dragon day like we were supposed to have on our East Coast Mustang tour. How mad were you when you found out it was raining and then like it was a weekday? Dude, I woke up and I was pissed. I Dude. literally was so mad because we had to sit in the house all day long. And we were looking forward to Tale of the Dragon like no other, you have no idea. This time though, we're finally gonna, doing it. That's gonna be bad. We're doing it, no doubt, no doubt. We have a whole week to make it happen, not just like one day, so it'll work out. It's definitely louder with the firmware update. The firmware is pretty fire. <laughs> it's pretty fire. Just by being at like idle and backing up and stuff, like it's definitely more more loudness. Like we, we didn't do wallhacks.exe, we did softaim.exe. Yeah, how do you like think the, how do you think the software update came out? It's good. It's good it's so good. far. It's a nice tone, nice like uh 
decibel. We're all gonna go back to the crib, go hang out for a little bit. Probably honestly get a couple brewskis because after today, we need it. This firmware update took like five hours. We're all green on the uh... Yeah, I don't know, dude, it's weird, man. It's like when I drive straight, the wheel's like this, but it drives straight. Unless it's just me. And Mine kind of does the same thing. I don't know. It might be an S550 thing, for real. Mine's slightly slightly to the left. That's how mine is, yeah. a little bit. Yeah. But it drives straight in the... When the I go around a corner, when I go around a corner, the left or right, Sometimes I hold the wheel straight. I hold the wheel, it's like the wheel straight. Yeah, dude, I don't know what that's about. We actually checked the tread pattern too to see if we have any inside wear or anything from the last road trip on the Michelin 4S's and they were perfect, so that's a good sign. And this, Elise, if you're watching this, you did a great job. Like, cast of camera plates and everything, when you dialed it in, you dialed it in. Like, it is really good. So, I don't know, it might be just a little S550 thing. Let me know if any of y'all does that in the comments. It's very slight, little to the left, but drive straight. To the house we go, check out the new exhaust update. We're gonna see how this firmware update did. Tell baby mama you gotta go. She's on the phone. <laughs> See the ring I got her? Oh, Jesus. Up. You're gone. I'm in the mood for some Corona and Lime, but the issue is I don't think they sell limes hey, here, so we might be down bad. But <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you tell them you wanted a medium? I, I ordered a medium. Well, dude, you're far gone from, from a medium. We're gonna go with some uh, some water today. I promise y'all, this is Jordan. I've. This is Jordan. This ain't much better. It's it's water? Why are you getting a cup of ice? What's wrong with you? I'm trying to lose weight. Still got some nice weather left, so we're gonna go home and just chill for a bit. Gotta go and show Jake the crib. He hasn't seen it yet. Brandon's about to trip over himself. No, I gotta walk. <laughs> you know, I'm you're not running. hitting a car. You going to Ponies and the Smokies? I wish. Why? What I happened? Gotta, I gotta work. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. Or did you spend all your damn money at Florida? Well, I still have to work. Nah, I can't skip they, training. They, they told you you could train after Ponies. You sold. He sold out. If y'all wanna know why he didn't come, because he spent too much money yeah, going I... to Beamer Fest. Get out of here, bro. If I didn't if I didn't do this training class, I couldn't train till May. Why isn't he going to Ponies and Smokies? Because you went to Florida. He'd rather go look at BMWs. Yeah. Peasant. No, I BMW the BMWs was it's one day there. All the Beamer boys went there and you had to go. I was there for one day. You had <laughs> sex with a dude. And then I, the, I was in Universal. That was where most of my time was spent. This is so sick. We got our foyer right here, and this is our movie room. We just started cracking down on. Oh, that's sick. Facts. So, nice. so this is the, uh, this is the movie room, and then that will be the dining room. We just gotta get a set table set and shit. Dude, ignore them. I'm telling you, just ignore, don't even look at them. 
Hey, <laughs> yo. <laughs> get, get, get him, please get him. Oh, my flag stuck. Oh, no, dude. Oh, Can't. shit. Oh, my God. God. Damn, stepped on my rake. I'm Zeus does not like you, bro. I don't know why. He senses it, too. This is where we're going to park our cars before we go, so we can start them up in here and put them on quiet. That's quick. so sick. Yeah, I, it has a lot of work, obviously. The walls no, are getting all lot, painted. Dude. The floor the floor is done, though. So you did a hell of a job. Yeah. yeah so you can tell how... You can see the, You can definitely see the clear in it. Yeah, it's all my spot. What is that for? Huh. It's not perfect. There's a lot of... You were doing it for yourself. Yeah, it was a lot of work. But yeah, we have a lot of work to do in here yet. A lot. You know, this is my first beer outside of the house. Really? Yeah. This is like my 99th beer of the year. Hey. Hell yeah. I don't even think I... Thank you, appreciate it, guys. This is fucking sweet. This is what I've always wanted to do. I got like Ben let me use his like. It's so it's fire weird paint. watching you go from the I, like I watched I watched you go from the garage on the rocks. Now the Bro. apartment was a major level up. I know you were so happy about that. Now the this, apartment was lit. I ain't gonna lie. It was. I did. Like I just got sick. I'm not gonna lie. I got sick of the location. It's the people. Yeah. That Shore are pump there. and the yeah. The it's, it was a little congested. Like I feel like every time we went no, out. No, that's like, the most congested spot in Virginia. Well, besides like northern. So PA. Jordan and Madison just pulled up, and we gotta check out this driveway real quick because we have quite a few cars here right now. We're gonna see just how many more we could technically fit. If I were to move the truck, bro, that's another. Oh yeah, that's another six to eight cars easily. You can many cars. Dude, we almost are already. Look at the driveway. Dude, the neighbor went by and fucking snapped his Hey, I'll see him next week with a neck brace on. Like <laughs> driving cars. like this. That's my that's my guessment. Fifteen cars. We might have to do it for a video one day. Put the truck in the front yard, then it give you more space. Oh, right dude, you could easily fit. I think you could fit three across right, well, easily. You got six right here. Eight, nine, Plus two. That's ten, already eight. No, you, all right. I think we can fit. The garage is also empty. How many? Right now. I th no, right. no, eighteen. Eighteen. 18. I think eighteen realistically. 18. We could put put four hey, in the garage. Have twenty one cars in the driveway. Uh, do we have? All right, we're no, testing. I, I have a tuna bet. Lock right, it look, in. Look, look, look. 20, 20 no, look, cars. listen right here. Look, you can at least we got fit four more five, right here. six, seven, cars. eight, nine, ten, ten 11. eleven, and then two more. You could do. Bed. You could do three five, wide right here. 13, 14, 15, 16, yeah, 17, 18, yeah. 18, No, 19, no, 21. no. No, yeah, yes, you are with the truck on. Yes, you are. Right, the truck's not three, there. He's Absolute one, two, three. There's no one. Ooh. Eh, eh, no, 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 no. If someone brought a car right now and literally just pulled it up and backed it in right where you are, Jordan. That's one. That's yeah, Oh, one. yeah. You, and then uh, you're walking right here. Dude, you can, we could probably fit 20 yeah. cars hey, in here. You can do another We're gonna three try it more. One day. For a vlog. 20 Mustangs. All right. All Mustangs cookout. Mustangs. All Mustangs yeah. cookout. I think we can make that happen. By then, your cars will be in the garage. That leaves more space oh. in the driveway. <laughs> Bro, that's oh, right. That's four. Hey, that, yeah, like so we're 25 cars, I think, realistically. Dude, that would be actually insane. If your cars were in the garage, we'd all be back a row. We were talking about food. And the Chinese restaurant on the street is calling my name. whatever the hell you want. Dude, the Chinese salad fish, works right the Chinese, the Chinese salad down the road works. Dude, what are you doing, Jake? I'm getting shredded. That's it. <laughs> this is like bad. I don't even want to drink it. Plenty of bread. Dude, I'm just messing with you. A batch of bacon burger waiting for me. Whenever you come oh, here, it's always something. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna let us try like that. Really like like oh, oh, fuck. And you didn't even eat the burger? Dude, I had six or seven oh, rolls. No. Oh, <laughs> and then I, got, and then I, I thought you were on a diet. I am. That's the only thing I eat all day. And then we, <laughs> and then we ordered a Caesar salad. Dude, by the way, there's Caesar salad fire. Right, your salad is right. fire. Right. 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 He just sends me rolls over in bed, takes it like one of the cute self. Now it's time for food run. We had some brewskis in us. Feeling good, I'm not driving. Don't worry, Ben's driving. Oh, it looks like I got shotgun too. Hey, hey, oh, got my back. Hey. What the hell is going on in here? I'm watching this nature guy right now. He almost got attacked by a pack of wolves. I would've been freaking the hell out. I had to grab some wood. Almost took my eye out. Damn. You hold wood often? You know, once in a while, <laughs> gotta pay the bill somehow, right? <laughs> New house don't come free. It worked so good for the vet when I did the shocks, I needed it, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna keep it. Just it's actually for a good idea. 2,000 years later, we are still waiting on the Dark Horse computer to load. Uh -oh. oh, wow, hold on. It heard you We're on to something. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, yes. give her a go, see what happens. That ain't bad at all. Got that good old rattle. That's good though. What? Hey, what is it? Oh, oh, it pops like oh yeah. It's like pop, 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 pop. Once you go active, 
exhaust. It's honestly hard not to have it anymore. I actually thought about doing it on Lucifer because having that luxury of just wanting to start the car without being obnoxious is super nice. Or if you pull into the driveway super late. Going up to your baby mama's house and she's got a boyfriend still. Keep going. <laughs> you. Oh, there goes your clutch. All right, back it up. Like literally, it, yeah, good. How much you charge hourly? Dude, I'll be real with you. I'm gonna charge you so much fucking money. He already got it all. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got his belly hanging out. Do I really? A little bit. A little bit right there. Yeah, a little happy. We started all the started the OnlyFans. <laughs> Someone clipped that. You know what's really strange? Huh? This almost looks like my Mach One down here. It pretty much is. <laughs> oh, my fault. I didn't mean to trigger you. My bad. It's gonna suck though, you know why? Don't even say shit. Cause it's like you buy a new Mustang, but you're gonna see old Gen 3 tail lights. That's annoying. You can't even show off the new tail they put on He's you. talking shit. Wait till it's tuned, he's getting gap. I can well, only shift to 7,000 RPMs. When you're tuned in six years, I'll finally have the ESS on. It's not gonna be six years. I think you should buy a Hyundai and just change the whole channel <laughs> Dude, over to- I need a fucking Hyundai. <laughs> the fucking gas prices are insane. Everything's so expensive. I need a good daily. The truck, I was like, oh, the truck's perfect for a daily, dude. Feeds <laughs> gas. Dude, it takes a hundred bucks to fill it. <laughs> I swallows it. Starts it, they're one of 20. Dude, it's insane. Already done? She done. She Wrenching and crunch. Re wrenching and uh, drenching. No, yeah, we're drenching them. Dipping them in ranch. <laughs> <laughs> dude, <laughs> dipping them in ranch. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to rhyme. Tuner's name is Han. He's from Hong Kong. In case anyone was wondering, Han, shout out you. I love you. Dude, did you just steal my neighbor's name just it's to say no, that? No shot, it's Han. My dad's neighbor is Han. Is it really? <laughs> Konnichiwa, Han. <laughs> Think firmware has been completed? Firmware is good. Yep. Oh, Ready thank you. Rock. Uh, thank you, uh, Han from Tokyo. You're the freaking man. And uh, Konnichiwa. We're ready to party. Carbon dioxide. No normal last minute maintenance before long trips. Yeah, <laughs> true. Gonna slap an oil change in this thing. It's a ball still, that red struts. Got it. Jeez, I'll lift it up. Thank you, sir. Woo! Ow! Oh, down! It's hot! Down! <laughs> that thing was hot. I think we own the marks. Let's go around and test around. I think you have a car to film, not me. Watching you eat and posting it for content is probably uh, just as good. Keep it. Come on. There you go. Ready. All right, so we are all currently piled in the Forerunner right now, and we're pulling up to a sheets oh, that's. Dude, that thing oh, is clean. Was on a tire. That was sweet, actually. Oh, really? Pulling up to a sheets that's somewhat local to me. I'm not going to show you exactly where, but we need to see if there's. See yellow, yeah, there's the 85 is here. That the number on the that's building? fire. One, two. But with this pit stop, we are actually taking a little work break, and I got the board out. We're going to enjoy the weather right now because it's gorgeous, and I wish we had a freaking football. Do you have a football in here? I got golf clothes. Uh, I gotta get warmed up. I'm hurting. Stretch, buddy. It's been a while.
I do it, Brandon has to do 10 push-ups. All right. Hey, we got 10 push-ups on this one. That's at least five push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh, that was a half. You suck. Turn around, do a kick turn, puss. Eat it. He's gonna die, he's gonna die. <laughs> do the fucking ground shot. I thought the train was coming through. Drift it. You won't drift it. Do burn out. Spit rocks <laughs> in that Prius. Wow, three valve life, dude. The cars are finally clean for the first time in forever. The Boss 302 is looking freaking sick. And Maverick, that car with the ceramic coating and the PPF just cleans up so nice. Other than the interior that we're about to bust out, I think it's safe to say this thing is road trip ready. It is tail the dragon ready. It is fun, fun, fun time having ready. And I'm looking forward to this little vacation, especially after getting this house and stuff. It has been nonstop work, housework, garage work, stress, and Overall, um, you know, we're getting through it. It's worth it, but it's gonna be nice to take a little week vacation, do some car things up in the mountains with some, you know, really good friends and just have a really good time. So I'm looking forward to it. And I know Maverick is ready to carve those freaking tail the dragon turns because we didn't get to do it when we did our Mustang East Coast tour, but we're going back seven hours just to do it. So it should be pretty fun. We're ready. Jake is currently with Joel and Brandon doing some filming. They live like 20 minutes from us, so not too bad. And straight shot, so pretty easy, but he'll be back soon. And But I think this is where we're going to go and wrap up today's video. So thank you all so much. And if you haven't already, remember, drop that like, man. All the likes, all the comments. Just say what's up. I literally respond to as many as possible. It helps me out in the end, and I can't thank you all enough for your support. It means a lot, and we have a ton of content coming from Tennessee. So make sure you're locked in, subscribe, bell notifications, more videos on the way. Much love, fam. Y'all stay blessed, and we'll see you in the next one.